presenting Pretty Lanisha channel here, fashion beauty. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, get ready with me for my maternity photo shoot. I asked if you guys wanted to see how I made my outfit, and here it is. I didn't record how I made my son's shirt and pants and my husband's shirt, but in the future, it will be a video on that. So basically, I'm going to outline this button up shirt to get my top and basically i'm gonna tuck in the shoulders to get that shoulder outline and i'm gonna pin it and then i'm gonna begin to outline the shirt from the sleeve opening down to the bottom of the shirt and the neckline and this is basically what you'll get and you'll just trace that to the other side so now oh, i'm folding the shirt down in a slant and that's how I get the wrap effect and then on the side it's going to be off the shoulder as you see in the intro and I'm just marking in where that part I want to be off my shoulder and I'm going to cut out the pattern. Right here I get myself a nice seam allowance and this is basically where I want my shirt to end. Of course I'm going to cut it a little bit more towards the top but I'm just leaving enough space to guesstimate how far down I want my shirt to be or how high I want it to be. So this is the back and then this will be what the front looks like. Right here, I'm just doing the sleeve. So how I do the sleeve is I turn the shirt over and I just do the outline that I get from the seams once I turn the shirt over and I trace that. And I just use a ruler to trace down the sleeve. I don't really use the actual sleeve to trace down the sleeve. And because I don't have a ruler, I'm just using the seam ripper case thing. And this is my sleeve and this is my top. So basically I'm putting my top down and it's a wrap top. So, so this is basically how I'll be cutting it out. So I'm cutting out basically as you would call straps along with the top. So this is just so this is just one piece of the front. So now I'm cutting out the other piece. As you notice, I flipped it over so I can basically match the other side. And I'm done. I have my two pieces, and I'm gonna cut out my sleeve now. And basically, I have the fold, the fabric folded twice over, so I get two sleeves at once. So I cut the sleeve on the fold. It's on the fold. As you can see. And right now I'm just cutting out the back. So I use the same pattern and I made it versatile. I fold it over, you get the front, you leave it plain, you get the back. So now it's time to pin the pieces. So wrong sides faces wrong sides. And you basically pin from the armpit to the end of the shirt and you sew that down as you can see. You can either serge it down, use a straight stitch or a zigzag stitch because this fabric do fray. I sewed wrong sides to wrong sides and now I'm turning the sleeve inside out so I can pin it to the shirt. Now you see that you I'm gonna match up the seams to the seam on the shirt and I'm gonna pin that right in the middle. And then I'm gonna basically work and pin it around the openings. And then I'm gonna serge it or straight stitch it or zigzag stitch it, whatever you prefer, whatever you have. Once you do both sleeves, you're pretty much done. Now it's just time to hem the bottom of the shirt and the top of the shirt. So right now we're working on the top of the shirt. I'm folding it over twice and I'm going to use a straight stitch for the top. And I do this all around the top of the shirt.
So now it's time to do the bottom and I use an iron to help me with the hem because you know I'm going to fold it over twice and basically since it's straight at the bottom it's easy to do with the iron with no problem. So basically like I did the top I'm folding it over twice and I'm going to use a straight stitch to hem up the bottom and then on the sides where the shirt goes into a slant I'm folding that over twice you'll see it soon and I'm going to use a straight stitch as well to finish my hem. Like I said, I'm going to use a straight stitch to finish off this hem and your shirt is complete. It was very easy to do. I'm going to add darts later after the pregnancy, but I'm loving my shirt. Now on to the skirt. I just cut out two long pieces. From under my bust all the way down to the floor and basically the length of the fabric I think the fabric is like 58 inches I just cut out two pieces and I sewed up the sides basically that's it I use the elastic to keep it all together like instead of using a gathering stitch I just used the elastic and basically now for the waistband I took some satin fabric and I measured my waist and I made it a little bit longer, probably like 10 inches longer on both, probably not even 10 inches, probably 7 inches longer on both sides. The reason why I don't give an exact measurement of what I use because it will be different from everybody so you measure your waist and then you give yourself 10 inches to 5 inches to 7 inches, however long you want your waist band to be because remember you're wrapping this and you're tying a bow. So basically I just sew that on, wrong size facing wrong size, and I hem it. And to hem it, as you see I'm using an iron to create my half an inch fold and I'm going to fold that over to basically create my waistband. You see how I'm folding it over? So basically that's how you do that. And I'm going to use a straight stitch to secure that in place. And ta-da! This is what the waistband looked like. And this is what my skirt looked like. So basically I left for opening and I did not hem the sides. Because after the pregnancy I'm probably going to make this into like pants or something. And um, this is a finished result. So I can have my stomach out. Um, I can wrap the skirt over to make it look like one full skirt. I just love this maternity outfit I think it came out really neat but anyways here's a few family photos and this is it this is the outfit I hope you guys like it I hope you learned something from it or whatever the case may be thank you for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on social media Instagram Facebook and Twitter and look out for my next video later lovelies